Right, there is no beating around the bush with this one. Triathlon is expensive. After all, we have three disciplines and that means three different sports to buy kit for. And that all starts to add up. But rather than just throwing your money away, it is possible to get very good triathlon kit for a fairly reasonable price. So today, I've given myself the target of under $100. Now this first one is one of my favorites. It is an aero disc wheel cover. Now we all know the benefits of an aero disc wheel. They smooth out the airflow over the wheel as opposed to normally being disturbed by the profile of the wheel, the spokes. But the downside is that they're normally pretty pricey, well in excess of $500. So this is a really good compromise. These come in at well under $100, normally somewhere between $40 to $50. And you simply can attach this to your current wheel and make your own disc wheel. Now they do come in a number of different designs. This one here actually use cable ties through these little lugs here and attach it to your wheel and then tape on using something like electrical tape. And you've got a pretty aero disc wheel. The only thing that you are missing is that satisfying <laughs> Next on my list is a heart rate monitor. And you'll be hard pushed to find a pro triathlete that isn't using a heart rate monitor regularly in their training. And there's a good reason for that because this tells you how hard your body is working, whether you need to go harder or perhaps even need to back off and go easier so that you don't overdo it. You could argue that it's not quite as instantaneous as something like a power meter on the bike. You have to allow time for your heart rate to catch up and react to any changes in intensity. But you're also gonna be find it very hard to find a power meter that will come in at under $100. But that aside, I actually think this is really valuable in the sense that it can actually tell you if there's any external factors that are making your heart rate higher, such as illness. It also can tell you whether your fitness is improving, whether actually you're finding it easier for the same speeds or the same power. So all in all, a very valuable piece of kit and all for around 30 to $50. Okay, a really cheap one for you here now, elastic laces. These literally come in at around five to $10 and can save you so much time through transition. In fact, I go as far as saying that these relatively have the biggest time saving per cent or penny. Now, you just need to take your current laces out of your shoes, replace them with the elastic laces, and then when you go into transition, you can just whack your feet straight into your shoes and you're away. Another time saver for you, clip-on aero bars. Now this is one of the biggest time-saving upgrades you can make to your road bike for a triathlon. By using these clip-on aero bars, we can reduce our frontal area and therefore our aerodynamics, which is why we see so many people using TT and triathlon bikes. But again, they come with quite a hefty price tag. Whereas these clip-on aero bars can dramatically improve your aerodynamics on a road bike by just simply clipping them onto your current bars all for under a hundred dollars. Obviously it's not going to be as fast as a TT or triathlon bike where they're super optimized, but it's gonna be a heck of a lot faster than a road bike without them. And whilst we're talking about the bike, how about a triathlon specific saddle? Now these are slightly different from your standard road saddle because they're designed for using aero bars, being in a slightly more aggressive and forward position, predominantly with that front third to two thirds of the saddle. Now, other than just increased padding at the front of the saddle, we also see some of them having this cutout design to relieve the pressure when we're in that more forward position, we have our hips tilted round and using the aero bars. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the look of them. They're not the nicest looking design, but I always use one. It allows me to tilt my hips round to really lay the power down and it works. So what I would say, particularly with saddles is, don't go for what you like the look of, go with what works. Um, some of these can be a little bit pricey, but it is possible to get them for under $100.
Now let's talk swimming. And these are two things that you will never see me going to a swim session without. A pool boy and a pair of paddles. And the nice thing is they're relatively inexpensive. Both come in at around 10 to $20 each, but can bring so much to your swimming. The pool boy, well, that helps to obviously isolate the arms, make them work harder, but also helps to highlight any dead spots in your stroke, as well as being quite nice just pop in when you're a little bit tired. The paddles obviously also help to increase that workload of the arms, but also really help with that initial catch phase as your hand just enters the water to get that purchase on the water, the feel of the water, and really accentuate that pull phase of the stroke. Now, turbo trainers have advanced loads over the years. So yeah, you are gonna struggle to get an all singing, all dancing turbo trainer for under $100. But then on the flip side, this has meant it's pushed the price of some of those more basic designs down. So you can get what was a top-end turbo trainer for under $100. Granted, it's not gonna be any Wahoo Kicker or Elite Diretto, but it's still a very valuable training tool. And we talked a lot about indoor training here on the channel. It's a good use of time, it saves us time, it's very efficient use of time, it makes us work harder. And also, it just allows us to get the job done without having to worry about any junctions or traffic lights. Okay, my final one, and it is a fairly obvious one, but it is the tri -suit. Again, you can pick these up for over $100, but equally there are just as many, if not more, well under this value. When you come to choosing a tri-suit, do not underestimate the importance and the performance benefit of a good, well-fitted tri-suit. At the end of the day, it's so, so important that you're comfortable in the suit, particularly if you're gonna be racing in it for a long time. Now, if you're someone that's worried about aerodynamics and going faster, then do consider getting a suit that's well-fitted and with sleeves. Well, there we go. There are some of my favorite bits of kit that you can pick up for under $100 and have some huge performance benefits. There is just one last one, and that is a bike fit. Granted, this can come in at $100 upwards, but having your position perfected and tuned in on a bike has a massive, massive advantage. Not only does it improve your comfort, it can also improve your aerodynamics, which probably by now you've guessed I do like aerodynamics. Now, if you like this video, do hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from GTN, you can click on the globe and subscribe. If you'd like to see our eight best value triathlon upgrades video, just click down here. If you'd like to see five ways to improve your average speed on the bike, just click down here.